Welcome to the Deal News Seller's Guide. Today we'll go over three things you shouldn't do when launching a product on Amazon. What are the mistakes to avoid, and what should you do instead? There's a lot of money to be made on Amazon. According to Amazon's 2019 SMB Impact Report, more than 50,000 small and medium-sized businesses exceeded $500,000 in sales in the retailer's stores in 2018, and more than 25,000 SMBs went over $1 million. The first step to bringing in those sales is to get products up on the Amazon Marketplace. But you want to do it the right way. So let's go over what not to do when you launch a product on Amazon and what steps you should take instead. The first thing you shouldn't do when launching a product is be disorganized with paperwork. Getting your clerical ducks in a row may not be exciting work, but it sure is important when you're launching a product on the Amazon marketplace. Former Amazon program manager Rachel Johnson Greer says, Multiple times just this month, clients have tried to launch new products without having the correct invoice format, testing, or regulatory approvals. Greer is managing partner at Cascadia Seller Solutions. She says, Planning done up front reduces a lot of stress as you move forward. Don't know where to start when it comes to product launch paperwork? Greer has a couple of recommendations. First, she suggests confirming that your invoices have your business name on them instead of your personal information. She also offers this tip. If you have multiple addresses or data on your account, make sure that you reorganize it to where your addresses and names match and you have paperwork available for all the products you're planning to sell on Amazon. Let's move on from paperwork now and talk about the second mistake not to make, and that is going after the main keywords. You know it's important to perform keyword research when creating an Amazon product listing, but targeting the right type of keyword is crucial. Online business enthusiast Dom Haynes of domhaines.com explains, I used to launch products in low competition environments. Here, targeting the main keywords would yield me success in most cases through dumb luck, as there were not many sellers in the race. However, these opportunities are few and far between nowadays on Amazon. Striving for a search results win via highly competitive keywords can be a futile endeavor. Haynes says, anyone looking to generate meaningful revenues, particularly in launch phase, should target mid-low competition range long tail keywords. This allows you to gain organic ranking more easily for these keywords. So what keyword steps should you take? Conduct keyword research, then target appropriate keywords. Haynes suggests researching your product niche using a reverse awesome tool so you can discover which keywords your competition rank for. Then look for search volume range for keywords that are most relevant. Say your product is a coffee table, and the main keyword of coffee table has the highest search volume. Haynes says look for a slightly longer tail version such as large glass coffee table. Ensure the search volume is considerably less than the main keyword, but enough to still be worth targeting. Think more hundreds of searches a month versus thousands. Haynes recommends prioritizing this long tail keyword in your product listing and PPC campaigns. He says, once ranking organically for it, pivot on to more competitive keywords. Now you're up to speed on keywords, and we can move on to the third thing to avoid doing which has to do with photographs. You shouldn't use photos a professional didn't take. Maybe you put so much money into your product already that hiring a professional photographer seems like a pricey afterthought. High quality photos can make a difference though. Haynes explains, on Amazon, customers buy items largely based on your title and pictures. Quality pictures are essential to really showcasing your product and standing out against the competition. According to Haynes, it's not only white background product imagery you want. Real high-class listings include lifestyle images with models using the product and 3D renders. Haynes' advice is to pay for professional photographs and product renders. He notes, find local or freelance photographers online that have experience in product photography. Once you have the pictures, you can build your listing with fantastic-looking images and a content. Additionally, these images can be repurposed on your social media, website, and advertising campaigns. Also, consider the size of your product when making image decisions. Haynes says, for smaller items such as electronics, 
3D renders and infographics can really make your listing stand out amongst the crowd. However, if you're selling phone chargers, for example, this kind of thing is not advised, but actually essential to stand any sort of competitive chance. That's all for this edition of the Deal News Seller's Guide. If you like what you heard, be sure to subscribe so you'll never miss a new one. And if you want to learn how you can turbocharge your marketplace revenue and gain access to the exclusive Deal News Traffic Network, head to marketplace.dealnews.com or send an email to getstarted at dealnews.com. Thanks for listening.